Hi, I'm Neil at Custom Pod Limited, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the front full LCD assembly on your iPhone 3G or 3GS. It's the same guide for both, they are very different parts, but it's the same way. Imagine for this video that my iPhone looks like this. I'm going to, not going to cut the video at all, it's going to be one thing from start to finish just to prove how quick you can do this. Um, and it is really quite an easy task. If you buy all these parts from our website, AppleIPodParts.com, you won't go wrong. Right. Start of all, tiny little screwdriver out of the toolkit, two screws on the bottom of your iPhone, pop those out. This really is a simple task and it saves you having to stick and glue digitizers and glass touchscreens down and it is a fantastic fix. And obviously if you do it yourself, you minimize downtime. Off our site, suction cup removal tool in the accessory section. On you go, pop it onto the front of your iPhone as long as it's not too smashed. And a little tip that nobody else will probably tell you, a little bit of, little bit of tape on the bottom edge of your iPhone, just tape it round and this will prevent you from overextending the screen cables as you come off. Right, once the two screws are out, suction cup, get your fingers. If it doesn't come straight off, give it a bit of a wiggle to and fro. So, here we go, see if it's gonna play ball. It takes a little bit of a firm hold and a pop, and like I said, wiggle it to and fro, and it pops up. It lifts up, that tape stops you from going too far, just in case you do yank it, so I can take that off now. There we go, that's that. As you open your iPhone, you'll notice, mind the glass on your fingers, the LCD, there's three cables basically you're gonna do. The LCD is pops off automatically, it's got a bit of a, it's quite stiff, it pops off from that little connector under there and they're numbered, which is handy. So, off pops number one straight away. Get a little plastic tool from that tool kit, like so. Get it under connect number two. Just get it under the front edge and just gently pop it off. It should be there somewhere. There we go. Be very careful, take your time if you're unsure. Cable number three, that exposes the sensitization cable. Little black clasp there, can you see that? White connector, black clasp. Get underneath the back edge, very, very gentle, and just pop that up, like so. And then just nudge that cable out, and there we go. We have separation. Right, we'll get rid of that, and there's your iPhone. Now this procedure, you see there, they do not remove a warranty seal. It doesn't disturb that. You've got the little white dot there that tells, tells you it goes red if it's, your iPhone's been wet. So whether or not this invalidates your warranty, I don't know. There's another one there. But you don't disturb them, so who knows. Right, open the packaging up. You have to be careful when you're buying these. Make sure that they have all of the tabs and the bells and whistles on. You can buy some copies out there, which, but they're no good because they don't come with all these little spacers, bumpers, ground strips and all sorts. Right, here we go. Brand new assembly, plastic covers all intact. Shameless plug, appleipodparts.com. Right, we're gonna go for connector three, and two, then one, three. Goes in, so if you hold your phone up, you're looking at coming in an angle, slotting that connector in, it's very fiddly, so take your time. It slots in effortlessly, as long as that clasp at the bottom is up, you gotta make sure that's up. In it slots, there we go, white line, Make sure all the gold contacts have disappeared into the connector. And with your thumb, just gently, gently, just push down, pull back on that little black clasp and it's flat. Now you can do it on the bench surface, I'm only holding it up here, but it makes it a little bit more tricky. I'd suggest putting it flat if you can. Right, cable number two next, and that's the touch screen. That slots in place. Because they're all preset in place, they, they pretty much fall into where they should do. Now again, don't, don't force these connectors you feel it, a nice positive little click as it goes in, and it's reasonably firm if you flap that about a bit, it doesn't come up, so you know that's home. Now this is the most, this is probably the trickiest bit, the LCD connector, now it's, like I said earlier, it's sprung off automatically, it's a bit stiff, so the hint there, the little white line on that cable, they're bend lines, and that's where they're designed to to, to bend a bit, not, not, not right back on itself, but it's designed to give, so you can give it a little bit of a pre-bend. Now that connector is going onto there, and it's quite tricky, so let's try it. You want the line, that white line up, probably about half a millimeter into that silver plate there. Not quite flush, just a little bit in. 
whilst holding these at an angle. You'll feel a positive engagement once you go in. Again, don't really don't force it. And do it flat. It's better to do it flat on surface. In fact, you get the hint, so I'm going to do, do that now. There we go. I heard the little bit of a clip. You can't see that much from there. Now, because I'm, I'm holding the screen up at this angle, as you can see, if I start to bend it up any further, that will come undone. So, we're ready to pop it back in. You've got your three cables are at home. You flip it over, just be very gentle. And what you're looking at is to get the little nog in there pressed in and home first, right like so. Make sure that there's still the connectors on. There we go. Now don't be disheartened if you put it back together. Before you push it in, what we're going to do, because you you're, you're going to press the top button to make sure it works. It works. There we go. Don't be disheartened if it doesn't. Just pop it up. All it means is the LCD connector is probably popped off. Like I said, it might take a few attempts. Get your finger in there. Don't force it, but you might need to just pop it back on again. So we know it works. Simple as that. You hope put you put that section in first, and then you, you push down the sides, and then you push down the home button. Positive click, check it again, it's all good. Right, to finish off then, we want the screws. Two screws in the bottom, and you get the idea. That is it, really simple repair. Something you can do in your lunch time, if you, you know, last thing you wanna do is send you, be without the iPhone. As much as I've tried to go back to a Nokia, it just doesn't work. Right, there we go, two screws, one screen, Peel off the plastic cover, all works beautifully. Thank you for watching. There we go, one repaired iPhone, one smash screen, and 10 minutes later. In fact, seven and a half minutes. I'm Neil at Custom Pod Limited. Thanks for your time.